Okay, if you're watching this video, you are either thinking about or have purchased our Red Block Oil Return Kit. Uh, the kit is intended to replace the funky O-ring system that Volvo uses to retain the, the oil return line that goes in this hole in the turbo blocks. Uh, this kit is a press fit fitting that will put a 10 AN fitting where that O-ring used to be, and now you can have a nice fitting that's easy to remove and won't leak. Uh, in your kit, you will get a brush that we're going to use to clean this existing hole up with, the fitting itself, a cap that you're going to use to press the fitting into the block, and some retaining compound. You will also get an instruction sheet, which if you're watching this video, you're probably just going to throw this away, but uh, this details all the steps that are involved. Read this thing first before you even start to do this. Give yourself some time ahead of starting because you're going to want to put this fitting in the freezer to uh, shrink it so it'll be an easier fit into here. I've already got one in the freezer but this one's out just to show as an example. Um, the kits come packaged like this generally. Um, so yeah, uh, this block obviously is not in the car but uh, this is a procedure that can be done in the car. Um, step one is to take your, well step one is to put your fitting in the freezer. Um, do that while you get the rest of the block prepped. Uh, if it's in the car, it's nice to have the block warm. I know it makes it harder to work on, but it also is going to make it easier to press this fitting in. Uh, we're going to start with just cleaning the cleaning the hole out here. Um, use the provided wire brush to scrub that out. Um, this particular block has had some uh, RTV stuck in it. Um, pretty normal because people are trying to fix leaks. That looks pretty clean. Uh, I'm going to go get a little brake clean to clean this out. Um, if it's in the car and there's a lot of RTV, you're going to want to be mindful to not get much of that in the pan. Um, in the directions, they say to plug plug this hole so nothing falls in. Uh, because this block's just on the bench, we're not going to do that. Get a can of your favorite brake clean or acetone. And uh, you're going to clean the residue out of there. Once we're all clean there, you're going to want to uh, prep everything before you get your fitting out of the freezer. So uh, take your provided turbo fuse uh, retaining compound and cut the tip off of that. Open it up and I'm going to go get my fitting. If your block's on the bench, like this is, you're going to want to heat it up a little bit if you can. Uh, just have a regular propane torch, and here we go. We have our fitting with the cap screwed on snug just by hand. You're going to want to clean the, the frost off of it, but try not to warm it up too much. Squeeze some retaining compound on there. And you're going to tap it into the block. And there we are, all set. Um, you know, ideally it's going to be seated all the way in there and once it's in, it's in. Unscrew the cap and that's all there is to it.